Guys, I have an important announcement. I am going to be moving to North Korea. Now, you might be wondering why the f*** am I doing this? Well, it's because I saw this TikTok. <laughs> God bless Kim Jong-un and his fellow Asians for building such a great country. Glory to North Korea! Down with the United States! I'm pretty sure we are all familiar with the concept of propaganda. We've all heard about the Russian trolls spreading online misinformation in the name of the bald twat in the Kremlin. And I'm pretty sure most of you watching, because most of my viewers are Americans, according to YouTube analytics, have seen the Republicans and Democrats try to convince you that the other side is a bunch of fucking idiots. However, we haven't seen much of North Korean propaganda, despite the fact that it's literally the most well-known dictatorship in the world. Well, that all changes today, because recently I came across this TikTok account called North Korean Life, which sounds like a byword for being born in a shithole, living in a shithole, and getting executed in a shithole. My daily morning walk in North Korea. Very quiet and calming. Yeah, there is a very good reason why the streets are so calming and why you don't see any cars around. Because no one, unless you're a member of Kim Jong-un's elite circle, can afford them. According to minimumwage.org, an average North Korean worker earns $5.5 per day. So we take 5.5, yeah, and then we multiply it by 365 days in a year, and we get... $2,000 per year. The cheapest version of Toyota Corolla costs $20,000. So technically, it will take 10 years for an average North Korean worker to be able to buy the cheapest version of Toyota Corolla. And that doesn't even include the import fees or life expectancy in North Korea, which is obviously shit. So therefore, it is impossible for a worker in North Korea to be able to buy a Toyota Corolla before he dies. How is this supposed to convince people that North Korea is a great place to live? I would much rather live in the radiation infested city in Fallout 4 than in this fucking ghost town. I'm pretty sure I could create a TikTok account dedicated to promoting a skip, and I'm fairly certain I could get more people to move into that skip than into North Korea. That's how low they've set their standards. Like, they're literally promoting nothing great about their country. They're, they're just making themselves look even more laughable, just trying to convince people that, oh wow, deserted streets that look like fucking Chernobyl. Yes, that is an appealing fact about North Korea. Come and move in with us. We won't kill you at all. You are well welcome here. Come on, this is a great country, guys. We're all friendly here. I like how it says in the description, Pyongyang has the best nightlife. Ah yes, look at all those people excited to be outside, breathing fresh air, interacting with each other, having fun. Forget London, forget New York, forget Paris, forget LA, Pyongyang. That is the city with the best nightlife. <laughs> Oh my god, no fucking way! There's mountains and trees in North Korea? Holy shit, I've never seen them before in any other country. I must move to North Korea immediately! This is incredible! Like, at this point, they're going to start showing pictures of literal kitchens and just be like, you see this, guys? This is called a kitchen. This is something the Western media doesn't want to show you. We have kitchens as well. Like, no one is denying that North Korea has kitchens and mountains and trees. But what everyone is denying is this idea that, you know, North Korea is this happy and prosperous place, when in reality, I'm pretty sure Burundi is way more prosperous than North Korea. And may I remind you, Burundi is literally the poorest country in the world. <laughs> Wow, that looks like such a nice place to live. Do you enjoy the 1980s Soviet aesthetics? Well, come on down to Pyongyang, where you will find amazing weather and very happy citizens. Forget New York, forget Brussels, forget Lisbon, because Pyongyang is truly the city of the future. <laughs> But anyway guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching and for all of your support. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, turn notifications on. Please comment because it really helps me out in the algorithm. Also, join my Discord server and follow me on the cesspit known as Twitter. I'm probably gonna go into hiding for the next month or so because, you know, Kim Jong-un might send his hitman to kill me. So uh, I'll see you then. I'll uh, see you guys probably in the next video or maybe never. So anyways, bye-bye. Uh,